Hi and um, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, stick around because today we're putting that wing on that van. So we decided to replace the wing, um, I'll show you the reason why, let's get you turned around, so this is the front driver's wing, it's all corroded there, uh, quite badly, I did manage to get um, a salvage part, which I actually bought shortly after getting the, the van, uh, which was about six or seven months ago. But what I did find out was this is a 2005 trend line um, and in 2005 apparently they only made 200 and, uh, no sorry 500 of these um, and all 500 is silver so when I was looking for a salvage part I sort of guessed that if I got one it would actually be near enough other than potentially some sun bleaching or whatever um, but it's actually spot on the match Obviously it's hard to tell that because it's a bit more on the shade, but we'll bring that to you a little bit later once we get it on. Um, so obviously after checking on YouTube and everything, there's a ton of videos on removing the front bumper. Uh, people doing facelifts from 5s to 5.1s. But I couldn't find any that show removing the wing. Um, looking at it, you do need to remove most of the bumper or all of the bumper to get to one or two of the bolts on the wing. But we're going to try and get that done today and hopefully try and record it all for everyone else. So we've literally just started with um, removing the front grille, which was just a couple of plastic turn screws on the top. And then on the bottom, there is some little clips. Uh, now I've just pried these out of the bumper, just using a flat blade screwdriver. So they just come out of there. So that literally just took a couple of seconds. So the next step we've done is uh, just try to take this piece out. Um, I just used a plastic pry tool. Um, and it is just like plastic lugs that hold this in place. And they just sort of sit on this front edge. Um, I believe there's a bolt in there, which is that one at the back that we need to get to, I believe. So, come back in a second. Just currently trying to get a nut off that's bang in the middle of the, we've got the wheel liner out. And there's two nuts in there, having to get them from inside the wheel liner. There's two bolts that look like they come through from the bumper into the wing. The top bolt doesn't have a nut on, but the bottom bolt is what we're trying to get off at this moment. Uh, which I believe is a 10 millimeter. Uh, yeah. Yeah, not the easiest position to get into. Got the wheel turned and the wheel liner pulled back a bit. See where we'll get on with that. We've actually loosened the top off the headlights as well just to see if that could give us better access, but we kind of get the headlight out either. <laughs> We've unclipped this bit on the front and this bit on the front and unclipped uh, the bumper from the bottom, which I think was a couple of screws. But we'll come back to this in a minute. So these were the two bolts that we were trying to get out so there was just a 10 millimeter nut on each one of them that's just fitting in the side of the in the front of the wing now we've managed to loosen as I say top one didn't have a nut on the bottom one did we managed to get the bottom one off and with everything else we've managed to pull the bumper just down enough to expose this nut behind uh, which is here so now, I think that is actually now the only one holding the uh, the wing on. So we're going to loosen that off. Um, 
already loosened off the ones on the top that was in there and inside the door panel so there's one just below the hinge one up there and then there is another one actually up behind the the wire and shroud so just behind there there's another nut easy enough to access because obviously that's really flexible um, so I think we'll potentially just pop this pop the side light out see if we can get this wing off and hopefully get the other one back on and hopefully get it all put back together hmm we'll see right so we've managed to get the wing off um, actually wasn't too bad we didn't have to take the bumper off we have just disconnected a couple of little screws from the bumper that we've managed to sort of pry it forward a little bit um, so just looking at it now obviously that's the the wing off I'm just gonna let that dry out and give it a bit of a sweep off um, so these are the two wings so you can see the one that we've actually taken off massively corroded on the inside you can see where the, everything's been gathering and obviously that's the new one well the replacement but what we found while we were taking everything off there's a bit on this corner of the the scuttle the plastic this corner actually has a bit of a drain so the water runs down into the drain but it doesn't actually carry it out under the bonnet anywhere it actually carries it straight in behind the wing so the water as you can see has literally just been coming down here hitting off that and then just gathering obviously inside of this where it's fastened you can see where it's all just cleared up there obviously that's what's been causing the the rust in there so i think once we try and put that on i'm going to try and divert the water a little bit somehow uh, I'm not sure how yet. I'm going to try and divert the water so it falls underneath or in a different way. I don't know, I'll have to say. Anyway, uh, that's it off for now. We're, I think we'll have a quick cuppa before we try and attempt to put the other one back on. Catch you in a bit. So this is the wing that we took off. Um, the previous owner had put this uh, side repeater indicator in. Um, he's done a bit of a bodge job of it as well, I think. Um, obviously looking on the inside plastic clip looks like it's all melted or been broken off on there um, so we're going to try our best to try and get it out um, we need this out before we can get the other wing on so that's our first job right, so just uh, push the wing in place got the side repeater put back in um, as it turned out that side repeater I think had been glued in so we've just sort of had to tap it out I've pushed it back in place and put some clear silicon around the back of it just to hold that in place. Um, when we're taking the wing off this little plastic section here, can't actually figure out how to get that off, but it does have a yellow press stud type thing just behind here, the clips in the back of the wing. That was causing us a little bit of problems, so just take it easy with that. Obviously, we need to try and get that clip back in, under the, the mirror. Yeah, that looks like that's in place now um, and then we're about to bolt the wing back on so we've got three bolts on the top um, just pull that bolt forward Andy this one was the one that we had, uh, had the problems with there you go, look, we've got the old bumper off now <laughs> and that lights out <laughs> so that was the one that was giving us the most problem um, as I said, these studs here, they push into the clips on the side. Um, it should have had two bolts in, but uh, nuts, sorry, on the front. But only one of mine actually had a nut on. Um, then obviously you can see on the wheel arch line, of the, there's three bits that have come out there. Uh, one from the bottom, um, and I think there was one up in the middle that we had to remove as well. Um, now on the front end, obviously we've just pulled the bumper forward to show you, it's came off a lot more than we actually added off a minute ago. So, <laughs> so I don't know whether we've snapped something. 
we'll have to have a look. So, um, the bolts that we took out from the bumper was what handy? What can you remember? I think was one out here, and there was two in there. Yeah, so it was the these two main two here was the main ones that we had to get out to drop the front of that off. Did you say there was one in the top? Yeah, there's one that just runs through there. Right, one at the top there that we took out. Um, there wasn't much more, was there? No. Just the wheel arch line of stuff, I think. Um, the ones from the wheel arch just tended to be a little bit fiddly. As I say, we did loosen the light off, um, just two bolts on the top. Thinking that that might give us, thinking we might be able to get that out easy and give us more access. But until we actually got these bolts out, we couldn't remove the light. Um, so anyway, yeah, we'll come back to it in a few minutes. So just nipping these top bolts up. It's actually three in the top. That one in the top corner there was a little bit awkward, simply because of the tools we've got. We weren't going to take the bonnet or anything off, but we've got to drop the bonnet halfway to get that one in um, when we actually put the wing on what we thought was we would put these bolts in the top and then that way we know it's aligned but when we actually put these in first this one on the bottom was way off um, so we've had to put this one in first use a little bit of jiggery pokery and sort of squash and push everything round and we've managed to get these top ones in although the alignment was slightly off so they did start to go in on the skew a bit but they are pulled in flat again um, we'll leave this one for now managed to get that yellow clip back into that one um, now just doing inside inside the door so if you remember there's three bolts in there um, the one that Sandy's doing now is the, the awkward one because it's behind the rubber, but it's still quite easy access. Um, and then managed to put the the liner in uh, back in the wheel arch. There was just a couple of screws into the wheel arch itself, and then sorry, the wind's just picking up again. Um, and there's a couple of screws in the line in here that will then go into the front of the bumper once we get the bumper back up. I think lifting the bumper up and then these screws, I think Andy next year, I think. I think that one, because uh, that wheel arch liner. So, yeah, so we'll come back in a bit. So there's two, two fixings in there. One is Torx. Yeah, Torx. Yeah. Uh, size there, Andy? 25, I think. And that went in that hole. There is another. Um, the next one's a bolt. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm off the top of my head, what size that was? I think it was about a 14 on the other. I think so. Right? Have you got the socket on that? Um, no. Try that. Nine sixteenths. I think that's the one we actually used. <laughs> I don't think it's the right one, but it done the job. So that was a 9 sixteenths that's going on. Uh, I think it's actually a 14 mil. Might be wrong. Let's see where that needs to be or not. I think so. So, uh, finally managed to get the wing on. Um, Went back on pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'll let you have a look. So that's it on. Uh, quite a good colour match. As I say, I'm sure we've only made 500 tr uh, trend lines in 2005 and they were all the same colour. Obviously, it is a very, very slight different shade with it. Obviously, just sun bleaching or whatever um, wear and tear, but it's not enough. By the time I clean the whole van up, I don't think that's going to be noticeable at all. But uh, thanks, Andy, we got this done. <laughs> Hopefully, it's helped somebody out. As I say, 
I searched high and low on YouTube and I couldn't find anybody just replacing a wing video. Um, I know there's been plenty of questions on forums and stuff about changing wings and people say that the silicon and dawn and everything else, we didn't, like some kind of mastic, we didn't come across any of that. Um, so yeah, I think everything's sorted. So wings on, another job done. See you in the next one.